What's up, everybody? Uh, uh, it is your big homie, the Fresh King, aka I mean, I met my fix web show. And what's what's popping in today's episode? We gonna have a grand old time because um, I want to talk to you guys about something. To be honest with you guys, uh, oh my gosh! I just want to say thank you to all those who have been subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate you guys for taking the time out of every discussion to watch this episode. It means the world that you guys have been watching watching sorry i haven't been posting um episodes you know me because um the thing is i've been working on different projects like this or that i wanted to have uh time to rest for a minute and then recoup and um i so i said you know what i did i did film something this morning and i said you know what um uh, i was like you know what let me just put out this first before i post it because i want to be able to I have different topics for you guys so you guys could get to know more about my journey I'm going to be the, the thing is before I even jump into any other topics I'm going to be um, sharing more about my story and where I've been through what I've been through first before we go into an actual topic because I know you guys w want to um, want to get to know me I know you guys want to hear um, uh, what I think about certain topics and you guys want to hear from God and uh, God himself what God is saying because on this show here this show is all about giving you guys the right information because this show gives you that's why always guys always make sure to test the spirit the Bible says it. Make sure to test it. I know it says to test the sermons too, but you can test this too to make sure that that you're hearing from God Himself. Cause this show you can hear from God Himself. You can hear from the Holy Spirit Himself. Get uh, from the Holy Spirit Himself. So I I just want you guys to know that this show is based on honesty. It's based on being truthful to who you are, and that's the that's the goal that um the show is miss is many about because this sh this show is all about truth and talking the truth because me uh, to be honest with you i'm a scorpio and and what that means is that scorpios are one of the most honest signs on the planet just saying where the we are very loyal scorpios are we're, we're very loyal so if you're a scorpio hey 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 so shout out to all the signs uh, hey, hey 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 so so i i just want to say that is that um the reason why i had to say that because um and i'm gonna I'm gonna jump into the topic to be honest with you because and then I'm gonna answer some questions I'm gonna discuss some things so I just want to say this um it's a lot there's a lot of things that has gone on and um about I want to give you more about my story so you guys can understand the thing is that when it comes to um, me I like to be able to um, to share what I have been gone through in life because there's some things that I've gone through in life that I want to share and I know my my future wife uh, my future wife my my girl my my girlfriend who's my future wife I want her to know about my story and where I have been to and the pain that that I've been through in life and it's not easy it's not an easy task to go through things that you have been through like growing up the pain and to be honest with you um and I'm gonna say this for me I rarely get depressed I really have anxiety I rarely have anxiety because to be honest with you um I never had anxiety ever in my life you know um there was a point um this year some months so uh, some few months ago or recently like few months ago i had a, a, an anxiety and i was like wait a minute i didn't even know i was having anxiety to be honest with you because i never had anxiety before to be honest with you. i never did i never because all the years i've never had nothing no anxiety i've not only just anxiety i have um 
I've never been depressed before. The only way I would get depressed is if like, um, like for example, there's things going on, there's things going on that is kind of, um, is, it's not, I'm not agreeing because that's the only way I will feel depressed if something feels weird and some, something feels not quite, you know what I mean? So me on the other hand, I like to, um, I want people to know that, um, that, um, that God is the reason why I'm keep on going because to be honest with you, uh, the things that y'all, oh Lord, you know much things that there's a lot of things that you um that I go through to be honest with you. The um the constant um back and forth. I mean I mean back and forth the constant accusation and it's just it's just oh my god. Words can't express guys. I've been accused a lot and I'm telling you this is no joke. I've been accused i I'm I've been I've been um betrayed before oh yes i yeah, i've never been betrayed i go through all of it i know i know about betrayal because i've been through it um people have been betraying me and i did not know that i i just um try to um have my have my distance from them because um me i don't do well with betrayal to be honest with you especially me especially me as a scorpio i can i don't i just don't like being being betrayed because if you betray me i will cut you off literally i will say nothing to you i won't even look at you i don't want i don't want to even say hi to you or whatever that's me that's me because i don't take betrayal lightly because uh, the way how God created me, I don't take betrayal lightly. So if somebody betrayed me, and I, I've been betrayed before, like some time, some times, countless times. But me, I had a, I had to put my distance. I had to put my distance because me, I don't like, I don't like being betrayed. And I, I, I trust somebody with information and then you they betray me. You know what I mean? I just don't like that. I just don't like being betrayed because when you betray me, oh, that's a whole nother ball game. Yeah, you can betray uh, other people, but me, on the other hand, I'm different. Me, anybody betrayed me, I will cut you off. I will cut you off. I will. I will not want your phone number. I will. I will stay far from that person because that's me. Because I'm not gonna. Because me. Yes, I do love everyone. I love everyone just the way they are. I love people. People I love to help people. I love to, I love people in general, you know what I mean? But when it comes to betrayal and and not just only betrayal, accusation and stuff, that's a whole nother ball game. And especially when you disrespect me, that's a whole nother that's a whole nother um box to go into. Cause you know, cause for me, I, what I'm trying to say is this, guys, I am all about honesty. You know what I mean? I like to be honest with people. I'm always honest with people. I don't sugarcoat. I don't lie. Yes, I lie to a certain point, but I lie to protect people. That's me. There's a difference. I don't lie just for the sake of lying all the time. You know when people is a there's a word for people who lie too much. I forgot the word, but I'm telling you, and I don't lie like oh uh, how people just lie constantly. You don't know what to stop lying. Me, I don't lie like that. I lie to protect people. That's the difference. There's a difference between lying to protect people and lying constantly. Lying to protect people, nothing is wrong with that. Nothing is wrong with lying to protect somebody. But if you are lying just for the sake of lying, that's a different story. Me, I, and I'm, I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to be honest, y'all. I do not like liars. I don't. I don't like liars. The reason why I don't like liars is I just don't like liars because... Don't lie, because if if you lie to me, I will know. 
and I could tell because I can read your energy and I can read and not even not even by length but I just I could read your energy so one thing with me I could read people so so what I'm saying is this um that that's who I am and I can't change that I can't change that you know what I mean I can't change who I am I can't change myself no I can't it's how God created me God created me this way God wanted me God created me so I could be wise and have knowledge because to be honest with you I be gaining so many knowledge and guys and another thing guys people are jealous of because of whatever and jealousy is oh lord I could understand being jealous in relationship but jealous in in general it's just oh lord I just don't like uh Je be jealous come on if you if you jealous because I'm I'm doing better than a person that means you need to um level up stop I don't like when people um like do that be jealous of me and then um uh, they don't they level up if you take a take a picture in my book take a picture in my book and what I mean take a picture in my book look at um just learn you don't need to be jealous of me for what why people being jealous of me but you know how much people are jealous of me a few people not it's just a few people not a lot of people but you know how much people are jealous of me just because i'm doing what i'm supposed i'm doing my mission what god want me to do you know how much people even my own probably family members and all that kind of stuff uh, um are or jealous of me come on now even people who are aren't even family members who are close family who are think that um they, they these they think that they know me better and let me tell you something nobody knows you like god you know why i'm saying this nobody knows you like god god know me more than my own family members because guess what my god god know my story more than my family members to be honest with you, because they, because God is the one, know, he was the one that know, he's, he's the one that know how many years is on my head. He is the one that know my story. God is the only one that know my, who I'm supposed to be with, who is my future wife and who is, who, who is my spouse or whatever. God knows everything. Nobody else knows who I'm supposed to be with. No. Your family don't even know who you're supposed to be with. And that's the cold, honest truth. Only God knows it. Yes, there's a certain amount of um, parents who knows who know their, um, their children's gift. Because guess what? Because God communicate with that. God, um, the, the parent, the, some of the parents want to find out like, okay, um, is, my, uh, is my kid want to be this? Um, why does my kid want to be that? Just communicate with God. That's it. They God will tell you why, you know, because God will show you that God will show you the answer. That's why I me, mean. I'm not changing for nobody. No. I'm doing what God created me to do. I'm here for a purpose. I'm here to make, uh, to make, to help, uh, to, um, fulfill my destiny and fulfill my mission because there's a destiny that is placed on my life god knows that there's a this and, and i'm just want to say there's destiny placed on your life too as well so nobody should dictate how how your life should run you 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 should dictate who, how your life run that's why they say the only person that loves you is you that is a key to who you're your spouses, the kids, your other half, your spouse, because if if the only person that loves you is you, that means your other half is like you. See what I mean? So that means God already give you the answer. God God already knows that you know the answer, but you just gotta pay attention. Me, on the other hand, I already know. I didn't even know that I was supposed to be with um a girl. To be honest with you, no joke. No joke. I did not know I'm supposed to be the girl. Me, and I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to tell you this. And I'm going to tell you this right now. So to clear the air. I'm going to tell you this. The reason why God put me to be with a girl. 
because God knows that my soul is masculine. He knows. Because I'm telling you, I've got broad shoulders all, um, since I was young. Since I was way young. I'm telling you, I have broad shoulders. See? Look at my shoulder. You see what I mean? I got broad shoulders. I I had broad shoulders since I was young. I That's who our God created me to be. I have broad shoulders because I have a soul of a man. So, you got to understand that um, me being with a girl, it doesn't change anything. I'm just me. Just because I like, I like, because, think about it. Why do you think I like women? You think I just say, you, you think I just out of the blue say, yes, I, I'm, I'm gay, I'm whatever. No, I don't go out of the blue and say it. That's different. But I, I, I already know for a fact that when I was young, I knew because I've been, and there are signs. God knows there are signs. There, there, and God even revealed all the signs to me. He, he showed me the signs that, wait a minute, your soul, because how I know my soul was masculine, I feel, is, is how I felt. Nobody can feel it for you except for you. You know yourself more than anybody else. You know yourself. God knows you too. God knows you and you know yourself. And so does your, your other half. Your other half knows you too. Because they are a reflection of you. They are you. That's why they say your other half. Other, that means. That's why they say the only person that loves you is you. That means there's another you out there. There's another half of you. And so one. Um, two halves make a whole. That makes sense. Two halves make an whole. So when two become one. There. See what I mean? So what I'm saying, I, I don't just choose, it don't just happen overnight. I did, to be honest with you, because there's one thing people need to rea realize this. The only person that, the only, the only person that loves a woman is somebody who is masculine. That is the key. So when people say that, oh, um, they think, um, like, being me, I don't think it as me being gay to be honest with you. I don't care what anybody say, and I don't want nobody to put labels on me. I'm just saying, I just love the person so because not only just that, my girlfriend, which is my other half, she is like me. I just see it because I because me, I love, I love her no matter what. I don't care what anybody else say. I love her because she's my other half. She is my other half, and anybody can tell me what what I can and cannot do. She's my other half for a reason because God created her just for me. God knows God knows that there's another me out there. My grandmother said that uh you know what my grandmother told me and I said it in my previous episode, I think in season one or so, where I said that God's uh, I, that um my grandmother said sing that I'm special. I know we're all special in 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 different ways but my grandmother sing a song that God made you special when I was young when I was young and my grandmother even know that there is somebody special out there and no and she and my grandmother is right if my other half is special too so think about it my grandmother said that there's there's another special person out there who's for you my grandmother is right because if I'm special, my girl is special because we are we are reflecting the same. We are we are a reflection of each other, and she's the one that came out of my rib. She's the one that came out of my rib. See what I mean? When I mean she came out of my rib, meaning um, a woman loves a masculine energy. They do. That's the one thing a woman um um likes some a masculine energy. It. It could be a man, a woman, a woman who's masculine. It doesn't matter. as Because you know how they will know how your significant other, your significant other will know that you're the one for them? Because they can feel your energy. 
they recognize you they recognize you because let me tell you something and to be honest with you when i first met my girlfriend i already know she she's going to be my uh, she's actually my future wife i already know she's my future wife from the day i met her i already know you know how i know because um you see god didn't tell me that she was the one god didn't uh, because you know God just said okay I've been in uh, other relationships before three relationships I, I because to be honest with you my third ex while I was leaving my ex another girl just swooping yes another girl just swooping I didn't I didn't even see it coming you know what I mean I didn't even see that coming and God would put some um, somebody right in front of you unexpected because when because God is saying that um, okay you need to determine because look the Bible said it how you think oh Adam know that Eve was the one because remember Eve came out of Adam right he recognized that um, that she is his uh, that's his wife cuz Adam says bone of my bone flesh of my flesh she shall be called a woman because um adam says she came that eve came out of him same thing that's why if you that's why um when people say that that's the thing that's the key so if a woman has a masculine trait there's a reason for that. There's a re the reason why some women are masculine is because they have a masculine soul. So do I. Cause to be honest with you, I didn't just shoot because me, I don't think of it as being gay or being lesbian or whatever. No, I think about it because I know for a fact that I know who I'm into. I already know myself. I already know myself. Nobody know about my, about who I am. I know. It's between God and I. God knows me more than anybody else. To be honest with you. The only person that knows me um, the most is God and my future spouse. My future wife. The, my girlfriend. Who's my future wife. She, because guess what? She is like me. She's because once you with me, God knows that I'm very intelligent, very smart, and I'm and I'm not bragging to say I'm not just bragging. This is this is how you will know who, and because the thing is, God told me, you know how I I didn't even know that to be honest with you, I didn't even know that she was one before I met her because God gave me clues. That's the thing, the Holy Spirit will give you clues, on, on but you got to pay attention. Because if you don't pay attention, you will miss it. You will miss. You will miss it. You will miss your um. You will miss out on your future spouse, the one that God has for you. You have to determine if that is the one. God is not going to tell you. You God is relying on you because remember, God is is not physical. He is spiritual. You see what I mean? He is in spirit. So remember, he God is spirit, and we are. He, you see what I mean? Exactly. That makes sense. You know what I mean? So what I'm trying to say, guys, just allow God to work in your life, and you will see what happens. Because look at that, God will show you where you need to be. You know what I mean? Allow the Holy Spirit in your life because God, but remember, God knows you more than anybody. God knows you more than your parents, to be honest with you. God knows you because God knows who's, God should be a matchmaker, not your parents, to be honest with you. Because yes, you were created through God first before, before you were created from God first, then I, because we, God wants us to come out in the world. So he chose, he, he was one that, um, remember God has the book of life in his hands. Yeah, there is a thing called book of life. God has a book of life. So he, he's the one that say, you know what? Okay, I'm going to have this lady. I'm going to make sure, um. This lady is going to be her, um, this person is going to be the parents. It's going to be the parents. 
this this is um i'm going to say okay i want her to be born at uh, i'm going to use kingsley jamaica i'm going to say okay she's going to be born in kingsley jamaica she's going to have blah 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 she's going to have this she's going to because remember god knows where you when you are going to be born god knows it god knows when you're going to be born god knows when i was going god knew that when i was going to be born and be, and and do you know how how you um how you are think based on your personality how you are born and this is a trick that nobody tell i don't think anybody will say this but i don't think anybody on youtube would, would say this but i have never seen anybody say this but i, I want you to you know the way how we are created how God has a book of life and God knows the thing because before you were even formed in your mother's womb God even know what you're going to do what you're going to be what month you're going to born what God knows it all God knows it and I'm telling you I'm going to use me and as, as an example me God knows when I was going to born because God know what my name is going to be God know what my name is going to be Although my soul is masculine, God already know my masculine name. He already know my masculine name. He knows it. God already know my masculine name. He knows. And and I'm going to tell you this. My masculine name is my name backwards. Oh, yes. That is my masculine name backwards. That that is true. It is. That is my masculine name backwards. That is what my male name means. Because look it up. It's even on Google. Cause if you flip my name backwards, it's an Akinad. And Akinad, um, um uh, it is a powerful name. It is a masculine name. You see what I mean? So God already knows that. God already knows it. Because guess what? He's the one that named me. He's the one that know what name I'm supposed to be. That's why my male, he knows my male name. He knows what name I'm going to be. He know, he even know my feet. Yes. He flipped it around because to make it a female name. Because of course God can do that. Because God can do anything. He's in charge. He's a, He can do anything he want. Because God, God God knows what is in the book of life. God knows. Uh, remember how this earth, this earth was, how the earth was created. God already have a, God already have a plan, a set plan. God already know what is going to happen in the world. God already know what is going to be in this world. God already know what is going to be on the in this world, on this earth. God knows it because God knows exactly uh, um, what is going to happen. God knows everything that's going to happen. Of course, God knows. God knows it. That's why God know you. He knows you by name. He already because if you if you if you are a masculine female, you have a male soul. Okay, that this because I know every, people are wondering. Um, People are probably thinking about. Um, I know people have people have this on their mind. Why does some women are are masculine? I just told you. The reason why a woman has a masculine soul is because God is the one that put them. Remember, uh, God knows what He's doing. God knows what He's doing. He knows His people more than anybody else. He knows, he knows what he's doing. All of this thing that go, anything that happened on this earth, this is, this is God's, it is already in, in written. It is already written. Cause he wrote a plan. He wrote, he, because come on, it's like, it's like, um, you're writing down your goals and your dreams. That's what God did. God write down the goals. God write down what he needs to do. God probably, that's why he made he, that's why he created the world in seven days. You see what I mean? He had a, God had a strategy. God had a strategy. He knows the first day what it's gonna be. First day it's gonna be light. Second day, third day, or oh, and and the list goes on. He God knows because you got you. That's how God put together this earth. 
God don't just put it on this earth just like that. He got he wrote down he wrote down what is gonna be on this earth. He wrote he wrote down all he, he wrote anything that you see in this world. He already written it down in in a book. In the book of life or, or whatever in the book of life. God already wrote it down. Because he knows, he said, you know what, okay, I'm going to have this building, I'm going to have this house here, I'm going to have this house on this, on this street, I'm going to have this house on, like, on third, uh, 44th street, I'm going to have this house on, I'm going to create a house that is blue, black, whatever, orange, whatever, God already put, it, he already thought of it before he put it down, that's what, that's what God did, God used this, and then this because when he speak out of the mouth that's when everything happened he said of in genesis in, in genesis it says what the first thing he said he spoke that he spoke um uh, it into existence he spoke he said let there be light because remember our mouth is a weapon as well too god made the mouth as a weapon because when you speak it shall happen. That's why they say you got to be careful what you say out of your mouth because your mouth is creating something. That's why they say you got anything negative you cannot say out of your mouth because anything negative that comes out, you are actually creating it. You're creating it and you are not you don't know that it's been created. But when you speak things into existence it will happen it's just like when you're um listen to music and all that kind of stuff on the music you listen to that's why this you gotta be careful what you listen to the music that you listen to because guess what music has power music has a power it does has power it does have power music has power that's why they say you got to be careful what you that come out of our mouth because our mouth is is create that is creation that's how god created everything because he wrote yes god wrote it down yeah of course that when he said it it's created it's it's been created because God already knows what is going to be a part of this earth. God knows, yes, I want, God said, you know what, I'm going to provide a car. I'm going to have a car. The car, there's going to be cars, going to be different colors. I want, a, I want the car to be different colors. It could be white, blue, gray, whatever, brown, whatever. God did that. God already wrote it down and he's speaking into existence. When he's speaking into existence, then he started writing it down. I don't know. That's what God did. When he speaketh, he wrote it. God write it down. So what, because when you're writing it, that's when you're ma making it a reality. That's when you're making it a reality. So that's what God did. So I'm a, 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 So what I'm saying, I'm going to end this, this episode on, on, on a big note. The thing is, God is now, God knows that you have a destiny on your life he, that's why they said you have to go to God because you cannot go to anybody else God doesn't want you to go to anybody else that's why they said do not there's only one God you cannot serve two masters you can no it doesn't work like that there is only one God one God God and Jesus are two different people so if y'all wondering if, G if Jesus is God, no. God and Jesus are two different people. Remember, the Bible says if you read Genesis, and this is a part where you got to pay attention to. So in Genesis, it says how God created man in his image. Now he just gave you the answer who how he um how um who he was before you know. He just said that. You, 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 I hope you catch that. God created man in his image. That God is saying that he was a man. You see that? That's the thing. That's why when you read the Bible, you got to pay attention to the clues. Because if God said he created man in his image, that means God is telling you that God was, God was a man. 
God is a man. God was a man before, um, you know, he was on earth. God was a man before, you know what I mean? That He just gave you the answer in the Bible that God was a man because God said he created man in his image. The image of God is a man. That's he just gave you the answer who God is. You see what I mean? So that's why they say you got to make sure you read the Bible carefully because when you read the Bible carefully, the Bible is going to give you the answers. It's just what's going to give you the answers. That's why you got to pay attention to the words, everything. Because when you pay attention to the words and everything, then you will know about who God is. Because uh, many people don't know who God is. He just, God just told you who he is. He just told you who he is. He just told you in the Bible that God was created. He, he, he was a man. Remember that God said in the Bible, he created man in his image. He was a man before. That's that is the clue who God is. So if so many people don't know who God is, God if you read Genesis, he just told you in the Bible. Read the King James Version, read read the New King James Version, read the NIV, because they all those versions will tell you more about how creation, how does creation all oh, cre creation began. How, how did the world began and creation began? Because I'm telling you, the Bible just told you who God is. Because I know there's a lot of people wondering, who is God? Who created God? Who did it? God just tell you the answer in the Bible. Uh, first of all, God was a man. So the difference, I'm going to tell you the difference. And I think I told you about the difference between God and Jesus. Yeah, they are two different people. They are two different people. God there are two different people. God and Jesus are two different. God was created in a man. So does so if God was created in a man, so does Jesus. Because God created Jesus too. In his image. You see that? Because Jesus is a man. Because God created man in his image. So you see that? God just gave you um the answer to who he is. So it's like he created man in his image because look at that. God, God's son is Jesus, right? God's, so he created man in his image. So that means God's son is Jesus because he created man. Man, Jesus is a man. So God created man in his image. So that means if God is a man, that means Jesus was a, they're both, the one thing they have in common they were both men of God. They were both men. Period. See what I mean? They are both men. So for those of you, because there's a lot of you guys saying, wondering who God is, the Bible just give you the answer. The Bible just give you what the answer is. And I'm telling you, I already, I already know this, to be honest with you, that because the Bible says, uh, even, even if, because to be honest with you, at first I never read the Bible before and um, the Holy Spirit gave me what was said in the Bible. I still already know. Because the Holy Spirit put it in, in me knowing how it was created. So I'm going to leave you with this, y'all. Now I'm going to tell you this. The Holy Spirit, when it comes to what I'm God knows your story. Oh yeah, God knows you. Cause Jeremiah twenty nine verse eleven, you said it. Cause that's the most powerful verse in the Bible. Cause the, you know why it's powerful because God, just God just told you that He, when you God formed you, He said, "For I formed you in your mother's womb, I knew you." I knew you. So, so God is saying that He knows you more than anything. He knows your what your tics. He knows your habits. He knows everything all about you. He knows it. 
And I'm telling you, your parents don't even know your habit and all that kind of stuff. God knows it. God will give, give the parents some of the, the, the answers to it. But I'm telling you, God knows you. Because he actually, you are, we, all, we all actually came from him first before he came through our parents. Because yes, God created sex. Yes, God did created sex. And that's why me, as a person, and I'm going to use me as an example. Yes, I came, we all came through sex. But guess what? That is how we, God determined who is going to be born in what month. What I mean was, so because yeah, we come through sex. Because guess what? Scorpio and sex, Scorpios rule one thing. That is the um that is down there. It is the genitalia area. That's what Scorpios rule. It, the Scorpios rule the genitalia area, and I'm gonna go into detail in 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 my other episode. I'm gonna be going into details about talking to you about that, that I'm uh, more about that that um that about you know, yeah, yeah. So um, and the thing is with that's that's how, and I'm gonna go into details about that. No, so I'm not gonna go not gonna go over. I just wanna give you. The um the facts and how we are created, how God knows us. God knows when you're, what, what year you're going, what what year you're going to born, what month you're going to born. God knows what day. God knows it, cause it is written. It is written in the book of life. He even know. He even know my girlfriend's um date when she was going to be born. God knows it. God knows when she was going to be born. God knows it. God knows what age, what age she's going, she, she is now. God knows it all. Because guess what? God knows her. Because God formed her in her mother's womb. God formed my girlfriend in her mother's womb. Because the Bible says it. For I formed you in your mother's womb. I knew you. So God knows her story too. God knows everything about her. God knows what she's going to be in life. God knows her destiny. God knows her mission. And the only person that knows her mission is God and her other half. Which is me. If I don't know it, if I don't know it, God is going to reveal it God is going to reveal it to me because I'm her other half. So what I mean? God is going to, because I already know who my girlfriend's mission on this earth is. I already know, but I can't tell you that. That is private. God want me to keep that part private because of the, yeah. But I already know what my girl's mission is going to be on this earth. Because she is my other half. She was created out of my, 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 um, my bone. That's why Adam, Adam did what he did. That's why Adam recognized, because remember, God was trying to find a help me for Adam. Cause God don't mind be um you hanging out with Adam, but um God wants to give my help meet a different kind of love, not the look. You know exactly. You have God's love. And you have the um, yeah, the, that's why he was trying to find a help meet for Adam. So that's why God put Adam into a deep sleep because Adam was actually pregnant in reverse with a woman inside of his bone. So that's why God take out his bone and created a woman out of it because he was actually pre pregnant with her. So that's what um that's why you have male and female and some and you also have. Think of the word female. Look at the word. We take out the F E in front of it. Male. You see that? Male, male. You see that? You see what happened? M A L E. Four letters. See that? So that means that the wom that woman came from the man. Of course they're gonna put the word male in front of it. Of course they're gonna put the male in front of it. Yeah. 
because it is a reminder. It is a reminder that a woman came out of a man. It is a reminder. God is reminding us that the woman came out of the man. So that's why God knows that my girlfriend came out of me because my, yes, you have women who are masculine. You have my, because to be honest with you, I have a masculine soul. I already know that. I already know when I was young. And if you are a masculine, and if you are a female and you are masculine, that is actually who you are. That's actually who you are. God just, the reason why God had to choose a female body for, God had to use a female body, because God can do that. He can do whatever he wants. Because he wrote it out. He knows what's going to happen. He knows, um, he, yeah. He was one that put the soul in the body, not us. God is the one that did it. So God know exactly what he's doing. So and the thing that people don't even know this. They don't even know this. God can do whatever he wants. Because he is actually the the, the big boss. He's actually the one in charge of this world. He knows what he's doing. He knows he knows that he's gonna put um this masculine soul in a female body because he did that for a reason he did it with i'm a living example you have other people out there who's a living example but i'm a living example because guess what i know my soul is masculine i know it i can feel it y'all can't feel it i can feel it that's the difference if you can feel it that's a different story but you cannot feel what i'm feeling because that's that's why everybody is different God made everybody different. We're different. The only thing that we all have in common, we're all human beings. Just that. Everything else, like we're different, that's we're different. Because you have different cultures. You have different whatever. Races, you have different whatever. Um, yeah, exactly. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys learned something about who I am. Um about this and i hope you guys enjoy it. if you do give this video a thumbs if you even if you made it this far in in this episode thank you i really appreciate you it means the world I, i'm honored that you guys take the time out to watch the whole episode if you watch the whole episode coolest to you y'all coolest to y'all anyway guys i love you guys stay safe oh and i have a big announcement real quick i will be changing i will be changing the name of the show. Yes, it's gonna still be I Met My Future Wife show, but it's gonna be um Dear Future Wife. Yeah. Cause the Holy Spirit want me to put it at Dear Future Wife, cause yeah. it's still gonna be I Met My Future Wife, but I um God want me to put that name Dear Future Wife. Yeah. So yeah, I will still say. Oh, this is Deep Fresh King, aka um, Angels of Fire, and you're watching I Met My Future Wife Show, aka The, the, the Dear Future Wife Show. So, I mean, that's how I'll be saying that. So, anyway, guys, that's that means that. Hope you guys enjoy the, sh the show. Hope you guys enjoy it and you learn something about my story and all that kind of stuff and how God, uh, um, how God, how God intended how this is actually you. you just pray about it. Pray about it. God will tell you if this is God, because you're hearing from God in Himself through me. I mean, all right, guys. Thank you so much for this. Uh, uh, thank you so much for making it try the episode. It means the world to me. Make sure to go check out my last episode and go check it out. And also hit that subscribe button. Now let me know, guys, know that you guys want to see more. Um, that's one I want to see more videos and make sure to click the notification bell. Um, press press all so you can get all notification that will let me know that you guys want to see more episodes to come. Anyway, guys, that you said you can leave your if you have any questions, comments, or anything, leave it down below. I will be answering your questions in my next episode. Sorry, I didn't get to answer your questions because I don't want to make it too long. So, I'm going to be answering your questions in the next episode. So, look out for that. 
um, episode. That being said, this is your big homie, the Fresh King, aka Angel the of Fire. And don't forget, the name is going to be changing to Dear Future Wife Show. It's still going to be I'm at, I'm at my Future Wife Show. It's, it's in the, yeah. I have uh, be blessed, stay blessed, and I will see you guys in my next episode. Peace.